we're going to look at some things where we will find the keywords and we will still be able to get keywords even though we live in a world of not provided. And, and what we do is simply switch to understanding the activity on the search engine um, using Webmaster Tools and Competitive Intelligence Tools. So you will, and this, this part is going to be so exciting. So I'm, I'm a very big fan of, of analyzing using webmaster tools from all search engines in order to understand performance. Uh, I, I, I believe that the Bing webmaster tools is perhaps the most limited and there's never been a lot of data available to us and, and it doesn't even seem to be progressing very much. So it's, it's, I, I don't like it very much, but it is there and you should claim your account and get some insights to the extent that you find these to be helpful. I think I, I've, I haven't logged into it more than once a year. Uh, there are other search engines that are doing a much better job of this. Yandex is one of my favorites. I love I love my Webmaster Tools account at Yandex. It gives me an enormous amount of data. And, and I was sharing with, with my peer, John Marshall, the other day, uh, how uh, Yandex is detecting malware and other things on my site even faster than Google. So, so if you've not had an opportunity to claim your Webmaster Tools account on Yandex, you should. Of course, this is only showing you performance for Russia, and and that's okay. I mean, it's showing you for worldwide, but Yandex is popular in Russia. Um, but it is it is actually a great Webmaster Tools thing to have access to, and that's why those those letters you see are my my name in Russian or the Russian edition of my book. Anyway, good, good Webmaster Tools. For the purposes of our analysis today, we're, we're of course going to do this kind of analysis that you're seeing in Yandex where I can look at one keyword, I can look at the keyword performance over time, I can look at the landing page in this scenario and things like that. We're going to do this analysis, but we're going to do it using Google Webmaster Tools. Because for many of us in the US and in Europe and, and in big parts of Asia, we, we rely on Google for lots of our traffic. Uh, so we're going to do that using Google Webmaster Tools. And so when you log into your Google Webmaster Tools, this is kind of what you'll see. I hope that all of you have claimed your account and you have linked it with your Google Analytics account to make sure it's authenticated that you own the website, etc. Uh, but if you do that, you'll see this. And this is my data uh, that you're able to see because you can only see your own data. Uh, and, and when you log in, this is the first screen you see. They show you a dashboard with crawl letters and sitemaps, etc. Ignore, ignore. The one you want to hone in on is bang in the middle. You can see the SEO performance as is being shared by Google uh, with you. And just click on the, the, the top heading that says search queries. And, and in a few seconds, boom, are you able to see queries that are driving traffic to your website when they're searched on Google.com. So there are, there are a couple of interesting things going on. Uh, you are not able to see all of the keywords that are driving to your site, uh, driving traffic to your site. In my case, I'm getting the top 3,297. Uh, Google uh, had originally uh, were sharing 2,000, top 2,000 keywords to your site in Webmaster Tools. I believe that number has been increased. Uh, it looks like a, definitely more than 2,000 because I can see 3,200 right now. Uh, so every month, it seems Google is adding more keywords to Webmaster Tools, which is great news for all of us, of course. So you're able to see that data and you're able to see the impressions that you're getting, which is how many times is this keyword causing your website to show up. So in my case, for the word Google Analytics tutorial, that's 3,011 times that my website showed up on Google.com. Then we have clicks that we're going to look at. So those 3,000 searches for Google Analytics tutorial where my website showed up, I got 249 clicks to my website. Now, clicks does not equal visits, but roughly, kind of, sort of, it's a similar number, but it's not, not the same. I, I want to be very careful. But these are the number of people who clicked on Google.com and came to my website as a result of those 3,000 times that I showed up. Then it computes for you the click-through rate, which is direct math, if you will. And we obsess less about this. Uh, our SEO friends obsess more about this. But it also shows you the average position on the page. And what it was saying is, if you search for Google Analytics tutorial at this moment, when this report was created, my website, uh, Occam's Razor, would be uh, uh, have the average position of number six in the search results, uh, 5.7, so roughly six. And it says that it has increased 0.06 over time. So, so anyway, the data you see are impressions, clicks, 
click-through rate, and average position. The, the, the shift I want you to have in your mind is the anchor here is how often does your site show up on google.com and then the rest of it. While when we look in Adobe Web Trends Google Analytics, what we're saying is how many visits did we get? This impression number isn't there at all in all of those tools. So just, just remember that little anchor. The other thing we can do now that we have the list of keywords that for which our site is ranking, uh, you can click on the keyword and dig deeper. In this case, I've clicked on the word Google Analytics tutorial and I'm able to see which page is ranking, which is, by the way, the right page. That's the page I want to rank for it. So I know I'm doing good SEO. The right page is being ranked and I have the data for that page, impressions, clicks, uh, etc. And And on the bottom left, I have the position in search results because the search results are customized. That's why our position is not a good thing to, to shoot for is because as you can see that I get traffic from all over the place because depending on when, when John Marshall, because of his personal uh, blah, blah, is searching for something, um, I ranked number one because maybe he and I are connected or something, um, which we are, we love each other. And <laughs> but in, in other cases, when other people, Michael Stubbins also, our co-founder in Market Motive is searching uh, because of his personalized behavior for Google Analytics tutorial, my website is ranking on the second page. So that's why you want, don't obsess about that. But this is very good to know which keyword, by keyword, which page is ranking. Um, and, and of course, from then on, you can dive a little deeper and do even more analysis. Uh, I just, just, just to highlight to you something, something subtle that is very important. Uh, we are only seeing a fraction of the keywords we're seeing the top 3,297 keywords. It's very important to understand. Furthermore, we're only seeing data for 65,000 times our website showed up, uh, although our website actually showed up 1.42 million times. We, we are only seeing data for 65,000. And, and we, in total, received 51,334 clicks to our website, by the way, that is a surprisingly close number to what I saw in Google Analytics, or if you were following me a few minutes ago that you saw in my Google Analytics report, the surprisingly close number, uh, so, so fairly accurate. But anyway, 51,000 clicks were delivered to my website, of which this report is only showing 11,111. So I, I want to be crystal clear, this is a subset of the data, but for the top 3,297 queries, I have the keywords, I have the performance, I'm able to use this in order to go optimize SEO. So it's very, very important. You can download this data really easily if you want. Just click download this table. If you want to do sexy cool things and set up automation using Python and get this data out from there uh, on a timely basis because it's only there for 90 days, you can use this script uh, to do that. Uh, zqi.me forward slash mmgwo. If you go to that link, you can see how to do this with Python and, and download all this data if you would like to. So I just wanted to share that with you. But the other thing, of course, we have is the ability to do segmentation. In this case, you just click on uh, queries containing, and now I'm able to do segmentation across three different scenarios. Uh, so in this case, I can say, uh, I want traffic from mobile. I've picked mobile for search, and then I want traffic from India, India only, and I want queries with 10 plus impressions to clicks. So, so basically a higher click-through rate. And so, so there you go. I, I choose my segments from the ones available. I have lots of them available. I click apply and boom, there you go. Um, the queries, two, <laughs> two queries that meet the criteria uh, for that I have just applied mobile and all that other stuff, India, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so anyway, there you go. You, you can do segmentation as well for your queries. Uh, what is actually more fun is, is to actually go and do the second analysis in, in Webmaster Tools, which is landing page analysis. You're going you're gonna to love this one because what you can do is find the page that you're looking at. And so you can see the pages on the left hand of the frame and you can click on one of them. As you can see here, I have clicked on Google Analytics visitor segmentation users sequences and cohorts, which is a video you have to watch, a, the most incredible video 
one of the most be a boom I can click on it and then I can see which keywords are driving traffic so I can see my landing page on the top and I can see all the keywords that are driving traffic to that page and not only that but I can choose different pages and now I'm seeing historical comparison so on the left hand side I'm seeing the performance over the last 30 days and then on the right hand side I'm seeing the performance of keywords for that page uh, uh, for the 90 days prior to that time period so not only can you see the keywords but if you're paying somebody to do SEO for you here is proof if they're doing it better or worse here is proof that you're Keywords that you were targeting for landing page optimization are working or not. So it's really amazing data that is right available to you uh, right here immediately. So that's in the pages report. Just go click and boom, happy birthday. Everything is right there for you. Remember, the place we want to go is the search queries report. And all of this amazing analysis and data is available to you. Uh, so while we have lost the ability to do some of these things in Google Analytics, in the Webmaster Tools, we have the ability to do a bunch of this, even if not all of it. And the third and the last thing to think about is we still have access to our competitive intelligence tools where we have access to all this data. You can still go to Compete Pro, click on any site you would like to, and able to see deep paid search, organic search performance data. All the keywords are right here. I'm not going to go too deep into this because we have three incredible videos we have created very recently updated with the latest tools that you can find and you can dive deeper into it but i wanted to offer this up as an option here is similar web another tool that we cover and i'm looking at fat brain toys many of you are going to analyze the lead toy store and so here is the here is the overall performance we can dig deeper into organic and paid search performance and underneath it not only can we understand all the aggregated data which is clear here google organic bing etc cetera, etc cetera, but we can dive deeper and understand all the keywords that are driving traffic to this website. We can do this for our own website, of course, or we can do it for our competitors. So in this scenario, three recommendations. One, organic keyword analysis in Google Webmaster Tools. So you've not lost all of the not provided data. In fact, your top at least 3,297, I believe that number is 5,000, but at least for your top XX thousand number of words, you're able to get the data from Google Webmaster Tools. The landing page performance with a drill down to keyword in Google Webmaster Tools is a real gift for all of us. Really fantastic source to truly measure the, the impact of our SEO efforts on getting our pages to rank better and to show up for better queries and the right queries. This is analysis we used to do in GA or in Adobe or Core Metrics that you can just do in Google Webmaster Tools now for your top keywords. And finally, remember that for SEO, PPC, keyword analysis, competitive intelligence tools continue to be a great source for our own performance in addition to being great sources for our competitor performance. So two different things, right? We haven't lost all our ability. We have ability to analyze activity on a search engine. We have our ability to analyze activity on our website using three different tools and sources and still make sure that we are investing in an optimal way in SEO. We're able to show our companies with real data and real proof that our SEO efforts are yielding business value for the company and that we are just fine, even if not provided, is causing us some challenges, that we're just fine in terms of showing our value. So with that, all the very best, and, and I hope you will do SEO and do incredible analysis and be able to monetize this in wonderful ways for your company.